Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Vime and today I'm going to be showing you how you can play Descent 1R2 on Xbox Dev Mode. Before you start this tutorial, you will need to have Dev Mode on your Xbox. If you haven't set up Dev Mode before, definitely check out the playlist down below where you can find all my Dev Mode related content. Alright, so for this tutorial, you'll be needing three things. One, you got to get the DXX Rebirth UWP and then you'll also need your own copy of Descent 1 or 2. You'll also need to be doing this on an external hard drive or a USB stick. You can find this file over in the Xbox Dev Store. I'll have a link down in the description below. And all you would have to do is at the top, go to the Games tab. Go down a little bit until you find DXX Rebirth, Descent 1 and 2. DXX Rebirth runs Descent and Descent 2, including all expansions and third party levels. This only works on Xbox series consoles only and you would need to be doing this externally either on an external hard drive or a USB stick. And the required game files are needed for this to work. All you gotta do is click on download. You can either do it from the store or you could go to his GitHub and you can see more information there. We're just gonna click download from here. And also, if you appreciate all of Whirly DL's ports, please consider in checking out his Ko-Fi and giving him a donation. There is also three very cool features that you could do with this app. For one, you could change the MIDI audio to the one that you prefer. The recommended sound fonts include the MT32, the SC55, the SC88, and the 8MB GM variations. For number two, this also allows you to add your own custom soundtrack and all you would have to do is place the files under any folder on your external drive and we can set that up in the game. For number three, multiplayer works but it needs the host to have a pretty forgiving router configuration. If you really want to play online, the best way is to have a host forward 42424 and share their IP host name with the other players. And the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna be showing you how to upload this DXX Rebirth UWP into the Xbox device portal. And for those who already know how to get into the dev portal, you could skip this part until we start setting up our game for the external drive. Now I'm gonna show you the remote access at the bottom. So simply click on remote access settings. And what we're gonna do is enable the Xbox dev portal. What this will do is this is where we will install our apps. We would have to do this from the computer or your phone. Make sure to keep a screenshot of this because anytime you want to enter the access portal on your computer, you're going to have to use either one or two links, whichever one works for you. And then at the bottom, there's an the authentication where you can set a password and username. Me personally, I just keep this unchecked. It's just a little easier to get onto the page without having to enter your information every time. And then what we're going to do is we're going to leave our Xbox on this page. I bet. So what we're going to do is switch over to the PC. We're going to enter in one of the links for the access portal. And then there's some settings we're going to change from there. And then you should be good to go. All right. Now that we're on the computer, what we're going to do is enter in one of those links. And yes, please add the HTTPS within it. And then once you enter in the link, you should get a page that says your connection is not private. Attackers might attempt to steal your information. Simply at the bottom, click on advanced and proceed. Once we get to the Xbox device portal, all you got to do is underneath my games and apps, click on add. And then now all we're going to do is look for that DXX Rebirth UWP. We're going to drag and drop it. Click on next. There's no necessary dependencies, so click on start. Once it says package successfully registered, click on done. And then now I'm just going to show you how to add your game files to the correct folder for your external drive for the game. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click and create a new folder. Name it Descent 1. And then now all you got to do is drag and drop the descent.hog and the descent.pig. So all I'm going to do is copy these go into the descent one folder and paste them. And then once you do that, all you gotta do is drag and drop this descent one folder right into your external drive. And then for those who wanted to add a custom sound font, all you have to do is create a new folder, name it sound fonts, what S. For this example, I'll be using the Roland SC55. So I'm going to just drag and drop it right into the sound fonts folder. And then all you got to do is simply drag and drop the sound fonts folder right into the root of your external drive. 
And then once you do that, you should be good to go with getting your game files set up for your external drive. And all we're going to do is finish up the process in dev mode and then test out our game. All right. So once we get to the Xbox, all you got to do is look for the DXX Rebirth UWP. Press the select button on the controller. Go over to view details. And if it's set to an app, make sure to change it from an app to a game. And then we can press B. Make sure that the external drive that we set up is now plugged into the Xbox. And then now we're just going to open up the app. And there we go, our game loaded in. All I'm going to do is I'm going to create new. So you got to use the left joystick. I'm just going to create a new one. Press enter. And then just like that, now we're in our game. So what you want to do first is go down to the options, go to controls, and then what you got to do is go down to customize joystick, head down to the menu, click A on it, and then make sure to press the start button on your Xbox controller. Reason for that is we had to make sure that we set up the pause menu or else you won't have one. And then after that, I'm just going to make an accelerate button. I'm going to do the right trigger and then the reverse, the left trigger. I'm going to make my auto map the X button. Drop bomb, I'm going to just add it to the Y. For the fire flare, I'm just going to do the right bumper. And then for the rear view, I'm just going to do the left bumper. But you could completely set this up as how you would like it and then you should be good to go. And then once you're finished, you can just press B, press B again, all the way to the main menu. And that's pretty much about it. Now you can go and enjoy your game. For those who want to do custom sound fonts, all we had to do was open up this app first. So what you can do now is quit out of it. And now what we're going to do is plug in our external drive to the PC. And all we got to do is edit the descent configuration file. So let's get right to it. All right, bet. So once you get to your computer, what I need you to do is go to your external drive folders. Open up your Descent 1, and I forgot to mention this earlier, if you made a folder for your sound fonts and you added your sound font, what you also need to do is rename this to default, and make sure it's default.sf2, and then that should be good. And then what we're going to do for our sound fonts to be enabled is look for your Descent.cfg, highlight it, and then right click and go to Edit in Notepad. And then all we got to do is at the bottom here where it says ADL MIDI enabled equals one. We're just going to change this to a zero. Then at the top, click on file, go to save, and then you can exit out of that. And then once you do that, your custom sound font should work. Now I'm just going to go back to my Xbox. I'm going to open up the app and show you that my sound font is working. And just like that, our custom sound font is now working. You already did the controller bindings and you're pretty much ready to go and enjoy your game. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe for more dev mode related content.